Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan. I'm a Los Angeles based pro makeup artist and I used to work for the brand called Charlotte Tilbury. So you guys have long been asking to see some bridal content. I've done a little on TikTok, I've done a little on Instagram. So finally, I have arrived here on YouTube, my first home. We're gonna do not one, but two looks and that is because this is coinciding perfectly with the launch of Charlotte Tilbury's bridal collection. This is called The Look of Love. It just launched recently and it's really really stunning so many of you have been asking about it I have it all in front of me so we're gonna go through every single product we're gonna try everything on and you can see what it all looks like so let's go ahead and just run through all the products in this collection so you can just see what is up so the very first thing we have are the two instant face palettes this first one is called pretty blush beauty it looks like this I've used it quite a bit already on myself and my clients it is really really stunning good for light to medium skin tones and it has three different eyes eyeshadows, a highlighter, a powder, a blush, and a bronzer. I like to use the bronzer as part of my eyeshadow um, as well as a little bit of the blush and highlighter. So really there's a lot of different uses for this palette and um, I really like the color story. It's very beautiful. Okay so next we have sort of like the deeper version. So this is going to pop more on richer skin tones. And so this one is called Glowing Beauty. It's a little bit more autumnal. So the colors are a little richer, a little bit more warm. We've got this sparkly shade here that's very gorgeous but it confused me a lot because it's an enhanced shade which means it goes in the crease but it's totally sparkly so we're gonna have fun playing with this one so we've got the three eyeshadows we've got a highlighter that's a little bit deeper and we've got a blush that really packs quite a punch and we also have like a medium shade powder and then we've got the bronzer as well so these are two great palettes with totally different color stories and we also have some new lipsticks so these are the lipsticks we have mrs. kisses we have wedding bells and then we have new romance so we're gonna be testing out all of these so you can see them in action but they're very neutral and I really liked all of them even though I usually just wear nudes I didn't mind the colors at all lastly we have all of these tinted love lipsticks they are lip and cheek stains I don't normally use a cheek stain or a lip stain because I like something that's a bit more intense so we're gonna play with these this one's called blushed rose so it's a bit more nude then we have sort of like a cranberry this is called tripping on love this one's more of a pink this one is called petal pink um, this one's got a little bit of a coral tone to it this is bohemian kiss I love that name then we've got another nude Santa euphoria is that what that's called Santa euphoria okay and then we've got uh, love chain more of a red so yes we're gonna jump into all of this demo it all but if you're new here go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of my content follow me over on TikTok. I think I'm teaching all the generations at this point how to do makeup on TikTok. It's a lot of fun. I'm obsessed with TikTok. I'm sure you guys are too. And then of course I post a lot of beauty content on Instagram as well. So go ahead and check out my links down below. I have a lot of discount codes too that are down below if you're shopping any of my favorite brands. And I do in fact have a discount code with Charlotte Tilbury. I'm so excited. So go ahead and find that down below if you're going to do some Charlotte shopping. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the first look. I've already used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and Concealer. And then I've gone in with a little bit of Patrick Ta's Contour and then I've done my brow so we're gonna get right to the fun part starting with blushed beauty all right so jumping into pretty blushed beauty the very first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the powder and put that over both lids just to make sure that if there's any concealer that's still wet it's nice and set and ready for eyeshadow so this palette's very interesting in that there's two shades here that have a shimmer or a sparkle to them when I think of bridal looks I more think of matte with a very subtle shimmer so what I'm gonna actually do is take this bronzer I'm gonna mix a little bit of of that shimmery shade from number two which is sort of like a taupe and I'm just gonna take that back and forth into the crease little windshield wiper motions back and forth and that is gonna be our shade I like it to just be a little bit more matte than just having this eyeshadow alone but I like a little shimmer but we're mixing those two together just so it's a little bit more subtle and I think that's a very beautiful look so as you can see those shades are very pigmented very beautiful I'm just taking them back and forth back and forth and they show up very beautifully. And the brush I'm using is an A11 brush from the Ariel and Morphe collection that has just recently launched. I'm gonna use all those brushes today because I'm still testing them out. So next I'm gonna take this brush. This is an A29 brush. Dip that straight into those same colors that we just used in the crease and we're gonna run that along the lower lash line. So when it comes to my brides, I like to have a little bit of lower lash line definition 
but it might just be a little shadow rather than actually doing eyeliner or lower lash line mascara because we want to prevent as much smudging as possible. So if you just have a little definition from your eyeshadow, sometimes that's all you need and it's very beautiful as well. So this is those two shades. I think that's really nice. Now we can move on to the next shade. So I'm gonna take a little bit more concise of a fluffy brush. This is an A20 brush. And we're gonna dip right into this number three. This would be the smoke shade if this was in a classic Charlotte Tilbury quad eyeshadow palette. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the outer corner and just do little circles. We're adding a little bit of definition to the outer corner, a little bit of smokiness and drama. We want the lid to be left a little lighter, and then we want the outer corner to just smoke out a little bit. See how we're sort of building a deeper socket right here. If you are following along with me and you have hooded eyes, you might just wanna go a little higher up above the quote unquote hooded part of the eye. So always make sure you're looking straight into the mirror as you apply your eyeshadow, and that'll really help you get your placement down. We're lifting, so we're not really going any lower than this trajectory. And then I'm gonna switch over to my original brush, and then we're just gonna fuse all of those shades together. Make sure it's very soft. If you feel like you've applied a little too much, you're just gonna dip right into the airbrush powder in the palette, and you're just gonna go, and you're just gonna go right along the brow bone to soften that shadow and make sure everything looks soft and blended. So now let's go ahead and take that same flat brush that we used on the lower lash line, dip that into number three, and we're just gonna take that right under the lashes. Now we're kind of just sticking it to the outer corner, and then I'm gonna switch over to our medium sized blender, and we're gonna just fuse all those shades together. Okay, so now we have a pretty matte look going on. And so what we're gonna do is dip into this number one shade with my ring finger. It's very, very rich. And so what I'm gonna do is concentrate that towards the inner corner of the lid. We want this pop to be subtle. We wanna be able to see it, but we'd like for the focus to just be on very pretty, soft eye makeup, not on something that's too glittery too Las Vegas, too overwhelming. So that's why I'm just keeping it towards the inner corner. So now what I'm gonna do is just intensify that crease color a little bit by mixing the bronzer in the number two shade, just like our very first step. And then just making sure that we can really see the contrast between the crease right here and the lid. We want that lid to look lighter, to really pop, and then we want that crease to look like a shadow. And so far so good with those makeup by Ariel brushes too, although I, I almost wish that there were a few more sizes for the eyeshadow blenders. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a little eyeliner. Now that the eyeshadow's finished, this is the Classic Pencil in Classic Brown. It's an eyeshadow pressed into a pencil, so it's very soft, very good for a bridal look. And I'm just gonna slightly lift the outer corner of the eye by pulling out and up. But since this is a bridal look, I wanna keep it very soft. I have my Lashify lashes on, which are already giving a little bit of a lift, so I'm gonna naturally follow that as if this was a lash and just sort of pull it out like that. And then we're just gonna go backwards. I'm gonna go a little bit on the inner corner of the eye here and here. If your eyes tend to get very teary, you might wanna skip this step. And then I'm gonna very lightly go along the lashes, very thin. Then I'm just gonna take this little tiny itty bitty brush and we're just gonna softly diffuse that eyeliner. So it just looks like a hint of something without being too much of a line. I'm then gonna take a little bit of the classic pencil in uh, bronze and I'm just gonna very lightly go along my lower lash line here and it just gives a little bit more definition. All right, so I want for my mascara on the lower lash line to be very, very light and almost undetectable. So what I'm doing is taking a little fan brush, a little bit of mascara, and then we're just going to lightly coat the bottom lashes with it. You just kind of wiggle right at the root and it's almost just like a stain. Just like that. Okay, so now that the eyes are finished, we're gonna jump into the rest of the shades in this palette, starting with that bronzer. Now I already have a little cream bronzer on, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and intensify it a little bit with this shade number four face color. So I'm just going to lightly come underneath the cheekbone here. This is the bronzer that we already used on the eyelids, so we're gonna have that nice continuous color throughout the face. 
And this is the Makeup by Ariel in Morphe A32 brush. They're so soft. They look like they're gonna be natural hair brushes, but it's actually synthetic. And I really love how light and soft they are. So we're just, again, going under the cheekbone. And then I'm gonna go a little bit along the hairline. See how intense that is? That's like very pigmented. So a little goes a long way with that. Keep a beauty blender on hand in case you wanna buff out any parts where you accidentally apply a little too much. All right, so next we're gonna dip into this blush, which is like a very beautiful peachy pink. And normally I would do my lips first, but I haven't picked my lip color yet, so we'll just go very lightly with this. So I'm just gonna smile and then do one little pass to see how intense it is, tap off a little onto my hand, and then we'll just start to lift the cheeks with that blush just back and forth. And this is the same brush that I just used for the bronzer. And we're just adding a very nice, soft layer of that. Other side, I really, really like how much comes in this palette. Like it's very, very all-inclusive, fully comprehensive bridal palette. And I like to take a little over the nose, a little on the forehead, keep it nice and continuous. For my lip liner, I'm gonna mix a little bit of Iconic Nude in Pillow Talk, just so it's not too nude, but it's not too pink. And when you are doing a bridal look, you're gonna to wanna to fill in your entire lip because this is a waterproof liner and then it's gonna keep your lips so much more long wearing. To keep this look very classic and timeless, I'm not gonna overline my lips. I'm just gonna make them look as full as possible while staying on my natural lip line. All right, so I'm selecting my lip color for this look. There's so many ways this can go. I think I'm loving, I think I'm gonna go with this shade. This is Wedding Bells. Okay, so now I'm taking Wedding Bells in this A58 brush. I'm gonna put a little bit on the brush and I'm gonna tap it into my cheek. So we get that same color right on the cheek. And I think that would be really beautiful. So now that we have the lip, we have the blush, we have everything on, all that we have to do is lightly mattify the skin. So we have that powder in the palette. So what I'm gonna do is take this brush. Oh my God, this brush is so fun. This is an A22 brush, and I'm gonna lightly graze my complexion with this brush. Now, when it comes to powder, of course, on our wedding day, we want to use powder, but powder is intense. So you just wanna put a very light amount because you can easily overdo it and make the skin look dry, especially if you have dry skin to begin with. I have oily skin, so I can really layer on the powder and it's not necessarily gonna be a problem, but I still want the texture of my skin to look light and luminous, so that's why I just really graze the powder over the skin and then it's just gonna look very soft, but also keep it mattified. If you have the oiliest skin ever, you can even roll on, sorry, this one is dirty. I was using it a little earlier. You can even roll on to some areas that you get a little bit more oily and then lock things in um, but that's just if you're super super oily you don't need to do this otherwise so next we're gonna do a little bit of the highlighter that's in this palette this is an a14 brush so the highlighter that's in this palette is very intense it's very bright in your face i generally prefer to use you know something a little bit more subtle like the flawless filter so what i'm actually going to do is just put a little flawless filter right on the high points of the face because this is my preferred highlighter this is what i find looks really beautiful and i'll top it a little bit with the highlighter that's in the palette but i just really wanted to show you what i prefer and then we can compare the two i just had a bride actually yesterday two days ago and this is what we did for the final product for glow it's just a little bit of highlighter okay so now that the flawless filter is blended in we're just gonna go in with a little bit of that face highlighter tap it off into my wrist so there's not too much on the brush this is the a11 brush and we're just gonna very lightly graze the highest points of the cheekbone but again we really don't want it to be too bright I'm just gonna very very lightly do the highlighter. I like to put a little on the bridge of the nose, a little on the tip of the nose, and then I'm also going to put some right there on the highest point of my brow bone. And then let's also do a little bit on the inner corner of the eye to add a little bit of light there. And then I think that's looking really nice. 
All right, so this is how the Pretty Blushed Beauty look turned out. I really love all the elements of this palette. I think that when you use this shade and the shade together, you can sort of tone down this look so it's not too sparkly, not too over the top, because all of the shades in this are very pigmented. They're very rich, um, but overall, the color scheme is very beautiful. As you can see, this look is very neutral. It's on the taupey side, but it certainly has that glam element as well. So this is a really beautiful option for you if you have light to medium skin, like I do. I think this palette is so beautiful. I've used this a handful of times now. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It is sort of like a foolproof bridal guide. So I really like it. I hope you guys like it too. So let's go ahead and jump into look number two. All right, so now we're gonna create another beautiful bridal look with the Glowing Beauty palette. And just like with the last look, I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids with a little bit of powder that's right here in the palette. And I'm using the Makeup by Ariel brush in A11. So we just wanna make sure that those eyelids are nice and set, the concealer isn't wet at all, and then we'll be all ready to go for the eyeshadow. So for this look, it's a very interesting setup because the, this first shade that goes on the lid is shimmery, and then the one that's supposed to go in the crease, the enhanced shade is actually sparkly. And then we have a matte shade for the outer corner. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this, but I think what I'm gonna do again is start with that bronzer. And we're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth through the crease. And we're just gonna kind of make that my crease color. I think it really needs to have some sort of an anchor and this color is just gonna be perfect for that. Next, I'm taking this A20 brush from the Makeup by Ariel collection and I'm dipping into that bronzer. And then we're just gonna take that on the lower lash line and keep that shade continuous throughout the whole look. Okay, so just with the bronzer through the eyes, I think that we have a really nice base and we're just gonna start building it and adding more detail now. I'm taking that smoke shade and I'm just gonna do little circles on the outer corners of the eye. And this goes a little bit on the lid, a little bit into the crease, and then winging out a little bit. Just really going to softly diffuse that and lift the eye. And that's gonna add a little bit of drama. Then I'm gonna take this little A18 brush, dip that into the smoke shade, and then we're just gonna take that on the lower lash line. Just sort of the outer corner, sort of connecting up here, and that gives a nice bit of definition. This brush is actually very, very handy for adding a little bit of definition to the lash line without it looking too much like a line. Okay, so now we have the bronzer in the crease and we have this dark brown shade on the outer corner of the eye, so now we can add some light. I'm gonna take a little bit of this pop shade well, it's kind of like a highlighting shade and I'm gonna put that on the lid, starting at like the inner corner of the eye and I'm gonna put it all the way across the eyelid. So we can see that contrast between the lid and the crease. Then I'm gonna take my ring finger into the second very sparkly shade and what I'm guessing you do is just put it over the center of the eye, kind of like a wash of color. So let's try it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of use it like Charlotte uses her pop shades. I just didn't really understand where it's like supposed to go because it says it's supposed to go in the crease, but I, I wouldn't really put this in the crease. This is definitely gonna be a little bit more of a glam bride. You can also skip this part and just keep the eyes exactly how they were, and that would be really beautiful too. I wonder if you can see how sparkly this is. I mean, it's really eye-catching. Okay, that is looking so beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is lightly line my lash line with this brown pencil. This is the classic in classic brown. And since we did a wing with the last look, I think what I'm gonna do is just keep it along the lashes and then we'll take a look and see if we want to extend out at all. Okay, so this is how the liner is looking, just lightly smudged along the lash line. And I think it's really nice because, because there is a little bit more depth to this eyeshadow look. So I think it's kind of nice to just have this smoky lash line. It just kind of keeps the focus on the pretty colors of this look rather than the elongated wings. So let me know what you guys think, if you prefer the wing or if you like the smoky liner. I think both looks are really beautiful. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronze pencil, same formula, but a bronze color. And I'm just gonna very lightly line the lower lash line just to have a little bit more definition there. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of lower lash line mascara, just like I did last time by using this little tiny fan brush. It's very helpful. I just wanna keep the lower lash line lashes very clean, um, not too overpowering. And remember, on your wedding day, you don't want anything that is going to ruin your makeup, so just use a very little amount of mascara on your lower lash line to make sure it's waterproof. On the lips, I'm gonna be using a mix of Iconic Nude and Pillow Talk, just like in the last look, because it's just the perfect neutral combination. It goes with any lip, and I love it.
Okay, so on the lips, we're gonna do a mix of the last two colors that we still have to play with, and that is going to be Nude Romance and Mrs. Kisses. Now, since this look has a little bit more depth and intensity to it, it's only fair that we match that with the lip. So the very first color I'm gonna do is Nude Romance. I love this color so much by itself, and it's gonna be so gorgeous with this other one mixed in. Okay, so this is just Nude Romance, so you can take a look at that color. It's honestly so beautiful. I would use this as a blush. I'd use this on the eyes. Like this color is so gorgeous. Okay, now we're gonna add in a little bit of Mrs. Kisses. This is the very first time I'm using it. Isn't that so beautiful? My camera died, so I have no idea how much of that I just filmed, but I just mixed the two lipsticks that we used on my lips together on my hand, and then we used that as a cream blush. And then we went in with the blush from the palette. So this one's really quite intense. A little goes a long way. So use a fluffy brush and then really tap it off so it's not too bright. And then I'd go over it with a sponge too, just to slightly soften it because it is very, very pigmented. Okay, we're almost done, but we're gonna use a little bit of highlighter. I'm not sure if this highlighter is gonna work for my skin tone. It might be for richer skin. So I'm just gonna put it on very lightly. This probably is not a highlighter for me, so we're gonna skip that part. So now for powder on my skin, I'm just gonna dip into a little bit of my shade number one airbrush powder and then the powder in here. And then we're just gonna very lightly put that through the center of the face just to take it down slightly. Make sure we're not too shiny in the places we don't wanna be. So I just like to go straight through the center of the face. It's also nice to take it a bit under the contour line, which I had a brush there, a little brush hair, and that gives a little lift as well. And then this is the finished Glowing Beauty look. It is so beautiful. It almost reminds me of autumnal shades because it's a little bit warmer, a little bit richer. And I actually ended up really loving the way that that sparkle looks on the lid. This is, again, a little bit more of a glamorous bride than the last one, but we love it. And sometimes the shades just have to be a bit richer to really pop and contrast on richer skin the same way that the light one does on lighter skin. So I love it. I think it's really beautiful and it's very fun. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love both palettes. So now let's go ahead and take a look at these Tinted Love lip stains. All right, so I've taken off my lipstick and we're gonna test out these Tinted Love lip stains. So the very first one I have here is called Blushed Rose. I have a little lip liner on just so I have a little shape. But I just wanna show you, they're very, very sheer. It's literally just a hint of color. So this is gonna be really good for a daytime where you just want a hint of something, but not much. Okay, so that's Blushed Rose. The next one is Petal Pink. Wow, these are actually a lot prettier than I was expecting. These would be very beautiful on the cheek. I already have so much on right now, um, but this is very beautiful. Next we have the shade Bohemian Kiss as my lips just get redder and redder from removing these. But you can see this has a lot of color on its own. This color is called Love Chain. Okay, I've realized in the process is these are literally staining my lips and I can't get them off. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Tripping on Love. Just because I'm curious, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of Santa Euphoria as a cheek stain and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so they're very sheer, very fresh, and they don't have a ton of color, these nude ones, but they're really pretty, aren't they? It does add a little something. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my Charlotte Tilbury Look of Love collection review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you liked seeing the two different looks in action. I always find that to be so much more helpful when you're deciding between two palettes. So if I were to pick two products from this collection you absolutely have to have, it would definitely be one of these instant face palettes, whichever one suits your skin tone. And then I love Nude Romance. This lipstick is so beautiful. It's good for fairer tones. It's great for richer skin tones as well, and it has just the right amount of color 
color. It's a really good one. I'm going to be using it all the time. To stay connected with me and see more beauty content in between my YouTube videos, go ahead and follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. I've already done a lot of bridal content, so if you love this, you'll see a lot more there. Thank you so much again for watching. Shoot me an email if you ever want to do a Zoom lesson, and then follow me on Instagram for more updates on future makeup seminars. They're so much fun. You'll learn so much information, and then you can ask me questions directly as we do our makeup together. They're just a lot of fun, and I love doing them. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and to all of you who are planning a wedding, have the best time. I'm so excited that people are getting married again, and they're planning their weddings. It's going to be so fun. I already have three weddings on the book for this year, many more to come, I'm sure, and I'm so, so excited. All right, guys, stay safe wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you on another video very soon. Bye!